Okay, things are going to get magical today. This is hands down probably my favorite type of video to make just because I've got a huge passion for magic already. Right now you guys are looking at the title saying like, Dan, I want to learn to make levitation pants. Okay, okay, okay. This is actually so cool. I did not perform this trick the best. I'm not sure if this is a DIY how-to versus an actual magic video. I'm actually showing you how to make the apparatus. I've never used that word in my entire life. It helps you levitate. I think my first ever viral video was a magic trick video and in there, I did some levitating. Here's a quick clip of that. This is just like I levitate like a like an inch off the ground, okay? And you're like, oh, that's cool, that's awesome. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to levitate like a foot off the ground, or like two feet off the ground. Like I said, guys, this is a DIY how-to with magic involved. Let's get started. Here's what you need to make levitation pants. First and most important, pe wait, where am I? What? Oh, <laughs> oh, there I am, I'm so magical. The first thing you guys are gonna need are pants. What I did was I went to Value Village or Goodwill, and you guys can get a very cheap pair of pants because you will have to cut these. Now, I got these pants for $12.99. Another thing you need to make sure you look out for when you're buying the pants is that they are wide legged, okay? You cannot do this in like skinny jeans. You can't do this in spandex. It has to be baggy, wide legged pants, like these ones. It is ideal to go with a dark color as well. These are black, like a very, very, very dark blue. I highly suggest you guys get black pants for this. Second, you're gonna need shoes. Again, I got these at Value Village. These were $6.99. They're like a higher ankle shoe. The shoes have to be loose. Converse are really tough to work with because it's canvas and it, it's like, it, it's not like sturdy. You wanna have sturdy, high cut shoes shoes that you can also slip in and out of. With that being said, maybe get a size bigger than what you currently are. These shoes were nasty as hell. It even has this weird ass stain on the side that I, I've tried rubbing it off, but I have no idea what it is. Now, part of the reason why I want to make this video is because this is something I learned years ago. I kind of looked around the internet and there's very little information about how to make levitation pants. Third material, stockings or leggings. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. I've been doing this whole thing soundless, but like, what? There is no way any human can fit in this. Look how small that is. Okay, back to miming. Oh, wow, look at what the as a dude, this is the most uncomfortable material to buy. You guys want to buy the darkest leggings possible. Next, you're going to want to get some magnets. I have searched far and wide for these things called rare earth magnets. I went to Home Depot and I said, Hey guys, you have rare earth magnets? Because they heard the word rare, they were like, like No, we don't. Like right off the bat, they're like, No, we don't. Rare earth magnets are just very, very strong magnets that stick together. If you cannot find those, try to find the next best thing, which are just really strong magnets, okay? These ones work pretty well. Minimum six. Super cheap. I got these for $3. You're going to need scissors. And last but not least, you're gonna need a glue gun. Now, I don't wanna scare you guys with all these materials. I know when I'm watching videos like this, I'm like, there's way too much involved. This material is very, very easy to obtain. It does have a really good effect once you perfect it. So the first thing you wanna do to make levitation pants is you're gonna start with the pants. You wanna grab a pair of scissors, you wanna cut a couple inches above the ankle. So like right here is good. And then cut straight up the leg to the high thigh. Like the high thigh is like right up here. Just below your pocket. So I cut my left one, I cut my weaker leg. The next step is you're gonna take the magnets. You wanna glue these magnets on the inside seam of the pants inside right here so they can touch and they could essentially stick together like that. I did three of them. It's so crucial that you guys ensure that you're gluing magnets that are sticking together because if you don't, as you guys may know, magnets also repel if they're not the right side. Once you do the one side, you want to do the other side, but you want to line them up as close as possible. Next, what we're going to do is involve the shoe. We're going to be gluing the overlapped pants to the shoe. You're going to glue the outside of the shoe or the inside of the pants and you want to stick just the back half to the shoe. This part of your jean to the shoe, the front should not be attached, okay? Just glue this part to the shoe. Next, the fun part, which I know like a bunch of you guys are probably waiting for after I mentioned it was material. Put on the leggings. Put on the freaking leggings. Pantyhose, stockings, whatever you want to call it, put them on. Once you have your leggings on, go ahead and put your pants on with the shoe. Once you have your foot in the shoe, put on the other shoe as well, and then do your pants up. This is the cringy part of the video. I don't want you guys to dislike this video just because of this trick performed this way. This is a very rough way just to show you guys how you would perform this trick. I do want to preface this trick by saying this is the worst scenario possible. Three. Two. <sighs> Whoa. Whoa, we're gonna hit the roof. Better come down a bit. Whoa, no. Balancing is really hard. I told you it was cringy. 
cringy. It was cringy for me to watch that. I'm gonna flip the camera around and I wanna show you guys what's actually happening on this trick. So you wanna walk up to this chair or the ledge or whatever you're doing, wiggle your feet. And as you're wiggling your feet, you wanna slowly start to slide your left foot or whatever foot has the seam cut. Slowly start to slide your foot out of the one shoe. Just rest it on top of the shoe. You also wanna incorporate these arm movements like, like, ah, like this. Doing that will attract your audience's eyes up here while you're doing the trick down there essentially. As you're doing that, you're slowly gonna lift your leg up and rest it on the ledge. Three, two, one. And as you do one, you transfer all your weight to the left leg, almost like you're doing, uh, almost like you're stepping up a high step. Slowly pull up your feet. While you're doing this, make sure the other leg is completely straight. That way it blends in with the fake leg as you're starting to levitate. Make sure you don't go straight up like you're stepping up a stair. Make sure you're kind of going up, maybe go down a bit, up, down, up, down. When you want to go back down, turn your hands like this and slowly start to go like this. It really adds to the trick, I find. Then you have to kind of regain, you're like, oh. and as you're doing that, put your foot back in the pants and walk away. That is the trick. Now I told you guys I did not perform it well. If you guys wanna make this even better, what you should do is put magnets all the way up the seam, so that way the seam stays closed. Having a black legging underneath that matches the pants makes it way, way less obvious that there is something happening there. Ideally, you want your audience behind you looking at you. In this situation, it's obvious because I have the chair, but you may not realize that there's a ledge there or there's something that they are actually pulling their foot out. It looks like their leg is still in the pants and lifting themselves up with their own foot. I made these pants for under $25. You guys can totally do this. It's a super fun, cool way to levitate. If you guys do try this trick, please film it. Put it on Twitter and tag me. I would love to see what you guys do, or on Instagram, whatever. Twitter is at the Danocracy. My Instagram is at Danocracy. I would love to see what you guys do with this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.